Hey everybody and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program RP0. We are uh, joining our crew on Mars, uh, as usual. I guess uh, this will probably be our last episode uh, dealing with them for a uh, at least a little while. Uh, maybe we should give them a break uh, and let them settle in, uh, study some of the scientific results that we have uh, gathered already, or, uh, you know, just relax for a little while and uh, start to wait for their next launch window. Uh, we're actually going to leave them here on the surface. They got a year and some change of life support on hand. Uh, so I feel like uh, since we have a viable habitat, <laughs> if that's what you can kind of call this thing, and uh, things are generally uh, working, they're not in immediate danger. But, uh, maybe we'll just go ahead and let them hang out here on the surface for a little while and you know, do some science or acclimate or do some long-term-ish studies on uh, Kerbals on the surface of Mars, because, you know, hey, why not? But while we were here, and uh, it was kind of something that was stuck in my craw from our last crewed Mars mission uh, that I took a rover to and did not get to go uh, hill climbing with it, that made me kind of sad, because we landed, I mean, not very close to Olympus Mons, but close enough to where the drive totally would have been worth it, and we would have covered a couple of more biomes, something like that. Anyway, uh, we're not going to cover any new biomes, because we've already driven this rover to the highlands, but I feel like we should probably drive up to the peak of this volcano, uh, admire the view, plant a flag, and uh, just celebrate that uh, we have actually accomplished something here on Mars. And, of course, that means we're going to take this ridiculous uh, atmospheric sensor nose cone thing for reasons. I mean, we can collect some science. And it will give us a uh, pretty big payout. You see, it's 168 science just to radio one in from the Midlands. And that doesn't even include the one that we're going to take back to the lab later and analyze for even more sciencey points. And I don't think we have a reading from this thing from the Highlands either. So that's uh, even more science that we can take forever to radio in. As you see, this is uh, sped up footage about four times acceleration uh, as we're starting up the side of the mountain. Uh, I should also state that uh, this is footage from last week's live stream. Sorry, I'm so late in getting it out, uh, where we kind of watched me tap the W key and uh, try not to flip a rover, eventually uh, stopping for quick saves. Uh, it was my first week back on Twitch after a two-week hiatus due to vacation and family things, so it was uh, really great to get back kind of in the swing of things with uh, something that didn't require a whole lot of mental capacity, I suppose, uh, and a nice chance to, uh, to talk to everybody again. I really did miss the whole Twitch thing. It uh, It's the highlight of my week most weeks, which is pretty awesome, uh, I'd say. Y'all are pretty dang awesome, and I really do appreciate everyone coming to hang out with me and give me a hard time on my obvious shortcomings in rover piloting and kerbling in general. <laughs> no, it's a legit, it's a good time. I, I, I genuinely do enjoy it, although this was uh, quite a long trek up this mountain, although I think I've actually sped this up eight times now. So yeah, it was uh, an hour and a half of me hitting the W key, which was not at all what I intended the live stream to be, but uh, that's um, that's what it ended up being. Uh, Mechjev, of course, saying that the drive would take about an hour does not account for me stopping uh, every couple of minutes or so to take a quick save, uh, just to make sure that things don't just go horribly, horribly awry, because... Man, the wheel collision physics in this game are something else, let me tell you. And uh, really, if we could maintain a constant speed, I think that timer would go uh, a little bit better for us. But, you know, sometimes you just have to spin some donuts on Mars. There's, I don't know, there was a lot of that. And every time you lose speed, of course, it it, it really just affects its... Uh, your, your total time getting there. Anyway, uh, I did do a lot of goofing off with chat on Twitch with uh, adding certain words to the night bat ban list and then people trying to guess those words. It's like the poor man's entertainment. I don't know. <laughs> Cheap, easy, free, and uh, reminds people that I'm not just sitting here uh, tapping the W key occasionally trying to drive up the side of a mountain. Although it did mean I had to go switch the uh, word 
the secret word of the moment, which is originally supposed to be the secret word of the day. But uh, y'all are far too intelligent, or I'm far too stupid to make this game of the day. Anyway, uh, so uh, after clearing up uh, almost a whole kilometer in altitude, we are still in the Midlands, ironically enough. And the uh, rovering was going pretty well. Uh, a couple of slides down a hill, but no toss and tumbles yet. Which is, I don't know, <laughs> pretty good. I think I'm actually getting the hang of rovering on Mars. Uh, of course, that means that I will have no idea how to rover on the moon anymore, but uh, that's pretty uh, far off <laughs> in the distance. We have a lot of work to do to get our moon station and our moon surface base uh, back up and operational. Uh, but uh, that will probably be the next point on our agenda uh, until we get... Um, a few other landmark milestones coming down the pipeline for the space program uh, later this year. Of course, it's uh, 1991, which means we have a, a flyby of Neptune with a possible orbital capture uh, in there. Also, a flyby of Pluto, and I really highly doubt we're going to get an orbital capture there. But uh, that was never in the mission plan to begin with. Uh, and then I think we have a two or th well, I think we have at least one mission getting to Saturn. Uh, another mission around Jupiter. We should probably go back and pay attention to. So we need to land on uh, Callisto and Enceladus, two separate moons in the deep solar system, uh, for contracts so that we can get paid. <laughs> uh, and wouldn't wouldn't that be great? Yeah. So these uh, these small breaks in my driving are me messing with chat and messing with people instead of actually playing this game. So, you know, like that whole, it'll take you an hour to get there is going to end up taking the whole, the whole time. And also the, uh, the frequent stops to quick save and just to make sure that uh, everything goes all right. But, uh, we did take a scientist with us this time. I felt like we should probably let someone else get out and stretch their legs for a little while, but uh, we actually drove this whole time without me remember to load the harpoon, which, man, never leave your rover without loading the harpoon first. You have no idea how incredibly useful these things can be, especially on rovering trips. Uh, not only is it attached to a winch so you can pull yourself up a steep hill, but well, it has many, many other uses, which... Well, we'll cover one of them uh, eventually here for at least a little while. But uh, still in the Midlands, almost two kilometers altitude gained from our uh, our base. God, calling it a base just seems a little disingenuous, perhaps. <laughs> from our crash site? Campsite. Campsite might work, because they're going to be camping here for quite a while. But at least most of the snacks survived. They got that going for them. And, well, you know, if we can, I think we can miti mitigate the power draw issue by uh, when we get back, pulling these RTGs off the rover, installing them on the campsite. Uh, that should put them uh, above the threshold, being able to fully charge their batteries uh, during the day and then ha having enough low trickle down to have them still be charged uh, come dawn time which would be absolutely essential. Anyway, we're going to get to one of the greatest uses for a uh, harpoon on a winch, uh, as designed and implemented by Old Me. This is probably parts of these hill that I was trying to avoid. Brakes. We're still in the Midlands. Quick saving. Cannot quick save while moving. Good job, brakes. Problem. We brought our e-bake. Now we can quick save. <laughs> but now we have to get out to undo the... <laughs> All right, I'm adding the other word now. All right, so 
All words are added. Human person, uh, I guess you are forbidden from winning either of these, just as an FYI. Okay, well here's a problem. Once we unhook our braking cable, it's going to start sliding. <laughs> Oh, maybe not. Okay, that's cool. All right, I will tell you the uh, the other one is a uh, retired mission. Let's drive up the hill first. Oh, I need to reattach the uh, harpoon, our braking cable. <laughs> Tink, there we go. And with the uh, harpoon emergency brake reinstalled, we can jump back in our trusty rover and uh, continue our trek uh, across the uh, crust of this volcano. Uh, obviously, making many in interesting observations of the uh, rocks and strata and various other things as we drive by and take yet another quick save and then uh, take off running some more. Yeah, I guess I, I ran out of things to talk about during long periods of driving, like an episode and a half ago, so bear with me here. Uh, it, that's why I'm glad I had chat here to at least keep me company for most of this. This drive did take a rather significant amount of babysitting. Of course, it was me driving manually and not relying on uh, MechJeb's uh, rover autopilot for any of it, really, at least for this section. So... You know, th then there's that. So I uh, figured we should probably uh, get the antenna uh, repositioned in case we need to write this thing upright. Although it didn't occur to me at the time with that big uh, atmospheric data collection antenna nose cone thing, that antenna placement is not exactly going to work. Um yeah, <laughs> we'll, we'll need more leverage now that we have more, uh, we're a more top heavy craft, uh, I guess I should say. Uh, that won't really occur to me until much, much, much later, but we'll, we'll get to that towards the end ish of the episode when it becomes a thing. Uh, no spoilers. And uh, yeah, more just uh, random pausing for quick saving to make sure that we don't lose any progress should Kerbal Space Program decide to be uh, entirely uncooperative. And, uh, yeah, thankfully for us, uh, KSP played well the entire time, which is, uh, I, don't know, I guess, not all that unusual, I suppose. The save is kind of purpose-built for very long uh, gameplay times without uh, going too off the wall, although it does take a performance hit every now and again. And uh, with that transfer marks the end of the footage from last week's uh, Twitch live stream. This is all stuff that I have recorded since uh, we where we finally made it to the Mars's Highlands and uh, I was able to take some readings and uh, gather up some good sciencey bits uh, for the I don't know, the, the lab back home, I should say, which uh, they will absolutely need. Or, yeah, we want them to have because it's uh, probably just a good thing. But uh, we've kind of, we're nowhere near a peak. We are not at the tallest point of this volcano by any stretch of the words, but we've kind of reached the top of the, the hill climb portion where the terrain has mostly flattened out. It is a much more tolerable hill climb at this point, so I'll take this uh, easy driving advantage to transfer around some of the data into the pockets of our brave Kerbals and uh, get them all set up and make sure we can get this data back uh, in an appropriate manner. Um, we'll probably take home some extra copies just to make sure. Again, one to radio home, one to take home, one to go to the lab if we can manage it. If not, just uh, one to radio in and one to take to the lab. And there is the edge of the cliff, the uh, cusp of the volcano. Uh, again, not the peak, not the highest moment, 
but it uh, the view is pretty daggone spectacular. So uh, Laura Douglas is just going to hop out and verify that uh, this is probably a pretty good place to park, and uh, our two Kerbals here are going to set up camp for the night and uh, wait for dawn. We should probably give them uh, a nice rest. Yeah, this is uh, this is where we are. It is I mean, I know they drove to the top of it, Pike's Peak style, but still, that's uh, that's a pretty impressive run and a very impressive place to be, considering they're doing it on an entirely different planet. So uh, we will let them rest uh, all evening until just a, a few hours before dawn, and then uh, start to get the flags and uh, all the memorial stuff set out, as this is probably a good place for any of that. So. I will turn you over to old me. Well, here we are, just uh, moments before dawn. I think uh, Laura Douglas should probably do us the honors here. Leave seat. Hop down. Very graceful. All right, let's... Uh, yeah, right over here on the edge, I think, is an appropriate place. A uh, scenic overlook, if you will. Uh, when colonization ramps up, we'll probably put like a, a park bench, maybe like a tree. A uh, very nice shrubbery. Yeah. That is a very good view. Uh, overlooking uh, Tharsis Tolis. I'll take it. Yeah, just a, a few quick screeny grabs. Maybe a, a quick save. Oh, come on, KSP, you're killing me. A very long quick save. All right, cool. Now it's time warping. You can see the little planet moving. And oh, yeah, look at that. The lighting on the horizon just over her right shoulder as the sun starts to light up the clouds higher in the atmosphere. Boom. Oh, wow. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> Sunrise from a volcano top on Mars. Oh, yes. That is awesome. Nice. All right, let's try to... There we go. Totally worth it. Let's plant this flag. Yeah, nice, nice targeting there. Oh, that flag just fell over. All right, hold on a second. Uh, site name, I need to do this kind of generically for records keeping purposes. So this is our Highlands Landing, not really a landing, this is our Highlands Hiking Trail, whatever. Plaque text. All right, now I need to go uh, look up my stuff. Well, that's only moderately embarrassing, but okay, here we go. Okay, SP, you're killing me. We came for those who could, probably shouldn't write couldn't, could not. Ugh. I should I should learn to type. I'm trying to make this a serious dedication moment and I'm spelling everything wrong. That that's what works, right? Okay.
as good as it's going to be on the fly. The name of our fallen astronauts all embossed on the plaque placed here on Mars on our highest recorded footprints on the red planet. And with quite the scenic overlook, I have to say. Yeah, I'll take it. Ah, <laughs> oh, clouds messing things up. There we go. Oh, really? The flag? Where did it go? I was going to put it back upright. Oh, good. There. What? Yeah. And it won't let me click on it either. That's That's just great. Okay then, um, this memorial's not going to work. And yeah, we can't read the plaque either. Well, at least we got the pickup command going. Uh, let's, let's just start over, shall we? Yeah, uh, I probably needed a do-over on uh, planting that and the whole narrating it. All the things. <laughs> I'm really really bad at something that has to be taken seriously, because I can chronically not take anything seriously. There we go. All right. Um, Lord, you've done so many good things here and have just uh, kind of rocked all of it. Maybe we should let our other Kerbal take a turn. Before we do that, let's just fire the sonic sensor uh, into the chasm. Oh, wow. I got some distance to it. So, uh, do we want to take bets on how far down the mountain this thing makes it? <laughs> I, it absolutely has no guarantees whatsoever of doing anything. Uh, it didn't bounce like I thought it would. Man, is it going. And, yeah, we'll just pick up the time warp here, because this thing rolls for a very very long time. Uh, I was really hoping it would get um, a bit further down the edge here, but as it uh, starts to kind of settle it down and just uh, tumble end over end, I uh, really don't think, think something rolling this way is legit. Like, it should probably roll along its side. But uh, yeah, it just keeps fluttering right on down the hill. And, well, I guess the part that really gets me is oh. yeah thump 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 yeah all right so we should be oh what really okay it bounced off the hill like nine times and then explodes yeah that's that's a thing that yeah, most useless sensor ever all right uh can we switch to please anything no well, that's got to come up first and then we'll just double click on one of you there. All right. And loading in. Eventually. KSB probably not too happy with me. Yeah, of course. And it's the flag. There's our render. Thank goodness. All right. Alyssa, you're up. Do uh, your sciencey thing. Because why not? Uh, we already got that one. So leave seat. Hop down. There you go. And uh, sprint. Don't walk over to the site of our new memorial. Now uh, the future site of a scenic overlook park. Maybe a water slide. All right. Well, at least uh, I know what we're going to put this time. Plant flag. And please actually stick it in the dirt this time. There you go. That's a solid plant. Site name, Highlands Landing. Black text, here we go. We came for those who could not. Jebediah Kerman. Mill Kerman. 
Bob Kerman, Valentina Kerman. Johnny Ryan. John Oliver. Gus Patchen. Nick Swedeface. And all Kerbal Kind. And Science, of course. All right, that is actually a memorial with a plaque mostly worth keeping. Huh. I did my best on the fly. I'm sorry, everybody. But there, there is a dang good screeny. I think we'll keep this one. All right. Brilliant. Well done, Alyssa. Time to get back into the rover. <laughs> Uh, we've collected some science. We've left a fitting tribute to all of our uh, fallen Kerbals. And uh, you're walking around to the driver's side, aren't you? Yeah. Okay, let's, yeah. Get in on the passenger side. <laughs> this ain't your duster one. Board. There we go. Fantastic. All right, well, time to head home, I suppose. So uh, we'll just uh, make a quick upload. Now that we actually have a comms link, and we've got some stored data in here we need to uh, dispose of. So we'll just uh, make sure that we offload some of that, uh, get rid of some of our duplicates to make sure we're not uh, bringing excess science back. We will program in our route and our entire return leg will be handled by the uh, MechJeb autopilot. I'll just do uh, stop in every now and again to do just a little bit of station keeping uh, going Downhill was a little easier, although I'm sure we uh, wore these brake pads pretty thoroughly. Um, this early into the dawn hours, there's still no sunlight on this half of the mountain, which also probably means there's still no sunlight on our solar panel at home. So the quicker we can get these uh, RTGs repurposed uh, onto our campsite, uh, the better off we will be, I suppose. And seeing as how I'm completely out of ways to uh, make a rover trek interesting, uh, I will just uh, leave you with uh, basically the rest of this footage, highly sped up all the way home, and a uh, little bit of reflective music for our brand new memorial.